V. What if there was a black hole in the Milky Way galaxy? The very presence of a black hole leads to some really weird physics. And even though we do not have any direct evidence that there s a black hole at the center of our galaxy, we do know that there s something there that has a huge gravitational pull because all of the other stars seem to be orbiting around this invisible thing. We also know from studying other galaxies that most of those other galaxies have supermassive black holes at their centers, too. So, it's pretty reasonable to expect that we have one, too. But just how big is it? Well, we think our supermassive black hole might be about 4 million times heavier than the sun. That's huge! It would take 4 million of our suns to weigh the same amount as our supermassive black hole. That's a lot of mass. But even though it's so massive, it only makes up a tiny, tiny part of the mass of our entire galaxy. In fact, scientists estimate that for every single star in the Milky Way, there's about 100 trillion, with a T, black hole at its center. Now, you might be wondering why does that matter? Why should we care about the size of the Milky Way's black hole? Well, it matters because the size of a black hole determines how far out its gravity extends. And if the gravity of the Milky Way's black hole extends too far, it could mess with our solar system. Now, you might be thinking, come on, we're just a tiny little solar system orbiting around the Milky Way's black hole. How could we possibly mess it up? Well, remember that the Milky Way is also orbiting around a black hole at the center of a cluster of galaxies called the Virgo supercluster. And guess what? Our solar system is also orbiting around that black hole. And because that black hole is so much bigger than the one at the center of the Milky Way, its gravity extends much, much further out. Okay, let us go back to the beginning here and talk about what happens when you have a black hole at the black hole at the center of a spiral galaxy like ours, Jews. When you have a bunch of stars orbiting around a central black hole, they actually end up forming flat disks. And that's not just because they happen to be arranged in a disk shape. It's because gravity plays a big role in shaping the galaxy. Like, when a star moves away from the center of the galaxy, the gravity of the black hole pulls it back towards the center. At the same time, the star is also affected by the gravity of all of the other stars in the galaxy, Neth. If these two forces are balanced correctly, the star will end up in a stable orbit around the center of the galaxy. However, if the star gets too close to the center, the gravity of the black hole becomes too strong and it pulls the star into the black hole. This process of stars being pulled into the black hole and adding their mass to it is what causes the black hole to grow over time. But the growth of the black hole doesn't just affect the stars in the galaxy, it also affects the shape of the galaxy itself, too. As the black hole grows, its gravity becomes stronger and it starts to pull the galaxy into a more elongated shape. And when the galaxy is more elongated, it's more likely to interact with other galaxies and that can cause even more stars to be pulled into the black hole. So it's kind of like a runaway process where the bigger the black hole gets, the more likely it is to interact with other galaxies and the more it interacts with other galaxies, the bigger it gets. Now, if this sounds kind of familiar, it's because it's similar to what happens when an atom absorbs light. When an atom absorbs light, it gets excited and it starts to shake around. And the more it shakes around, the more likely it is to lose the energy it absorbed and go back to its original state. But before it loses the energy, it might bump into another atom and transfer the energy to that atom. Which can cause a chain reaction where energy gets transferred from one atom to another and another and another. But just like with the galaxy and the black hole, the energy eventually ends up getting lost and the atoms end up in their original state. Anyway, now let S talk about how the size of the Milky Way S black hole could mess with our solar system. Like I mentioned earlier, the Milky Way is also orbiting around a supermassive black hole at the center of the Virgo supercluster. And because this black hole is so massive, its gravity extends much farther out than the gravity of the Milky Way's black hole. In fact, scientists estimate that the gravity of the Virgo supercluster S black hole extends all the way out to the edge of the Milky Way. And that means that our solar system is constantly being pulled towards the center of the Virgo supercluster. Now, don't worry, this isn't going to happen anytime soon. It'll take billions of years for our solar system to get anywhere near the center of the Virgo supercluster. But even though it won't happen anytime soon, it is still happening. And that raises some interesting questions. 
What will happen when our solar system gets to the center of the Virgo supercluster? Will it get pulled into the supermassive black hole? Or will it just be flung out into intergalactic space? Well, it's impossible to say for sure, but it is fun to speculate. One possibility is that our solar system will be flung out into intergalactic space and we are LAOB on our own, just drifting around the universe with no galaxy to call home. Now, I know that sounds kind of scary, but it might not be all bad, Tapper. After all, we might be able to travel to other galaxies and meet new alien species. Who knows what kind of adventures await us out there in the great beyond. But that's just one possibility. Another possibility is that our solar system will get pulled into the supermassive black hole at the center of the Virgo supercluster. Now that sounds kind of scary, but it might not be all bad. After all, we might be able to study the black hole up close and learn all kinds of cool stuff about how gravity works. But even if we do get pulled into the black hole, it probably won't happen for a really long time. Scientists estimate that it'll LL take at least 50 billion years for our solar system to get close enough to the center of the Virgo supercluster to be affected by its gravity. So we've got plenty of time to enjoy our cozy little corner of the Milky Way. Okay, but what if the Milky Way's black hole wasn't so small after all? What if it was actually supermassive? Well, if the Milky Way had a supermassive black hole at its center, it would have all kinds of crazy effects on our solar system. First off, the black hole would have a much stronger gravitational pull than the one we have now. That means that the Earth would be pulled much closer to it. In fact, the Earth would be pulled so close that it would be ripped apart by tidal forces and turned into a giant pancake. I know that sounds kind of gross, but it's also kind of awesome. Just imagine the view of the galaxy you could get from the edge of a black hole. But I, that's not all. The Milky Way would also be flying through space much faster than it does now. Because the black hole would have so much mass, its gravity would drag everything along with it. That means that our solar system would be flying through space at crazy speeds. We'd be whizzing past other galaxies and star systems at a pace that would make your head spin. It would be like being on a roller coaster that never ends. But even if we could survive the ride, we wouldn't be able to last for very long. It thing, the Milky Way would eventually run out of gas, and then there would be no more stars being born. All of the stars would just slowly drift apart until the galaxy breaks apart and all of the stars are flung into outer space. So basically, if the Milky Way had a supermassive black hole at its center, we would all be doomed. Now that sounds kind of depressing, but hey, at least we wouldn't be alone in the universe. There are plenty of other galaxies out there with their own black holes and maybe, just maybe, they have their own YouTube channels too. So, if you want to learn more about the universe and all the crazy things that happen in it, make sure to subscribe to our channel. We've got videos on all kinds of topics, from black holes to galaxies to the Big Bang and beyond. And we're always adding new videos every week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.